This is a summary of Team MIT Princeton's automated solution to the 2016 Amazon Picking Challenge. The Amazon Picking Challenge is a robotics competition for which the goal is to create an autonomous system that is capable of performing two separate tasks. The first is to identify and pick items from a shelf, then place them into a tote, and the second is to do the reverse. Here is an example of a fully stocked shelf used in the picking task, and a fully stocked tote used in the stowing task. Team MIT Princeton is a collaboration between the Manipulation and Mechanisms Lab at MIT and the Princeton Vision and Robotics Group, with the support of ABB Robotics. This is our robotic system. It consists of an industrial robot arm with a custom gripper designed at MIT, a versatile set of picking behaviors including suction, grasping, and scooping, a robust vision system based on RGBD data from a gripper-mounted camera, and a task planner driven by learned heuristics that chooses between picking behaviors. The system architecture consists of a high-level task planner which decides on which picking behavior to execute. Each picking behavior relies on scene information from the vision system, augmented with data from contact and tactile gripper sensors to run. These combine collision-free trajectories with guarded moves. Our vision algorithm utilizes multiple camera views to identify and locate objects in the scene. First, the RGBD data in each camera view is fed to a fully convolutional neural network to perform object segmentation and identification, which results in each pixel being assigned to an object category. The data from the different camera views is then fused together to form a segmented point cloud. A pre-scanned 3D model of the object is then aligned with the segmented point cloud to determine its 6 degree of freedom pose. Once the robot has located the object of interest, a planner determines which motion primitive is the most likely to succeed at retrieving it. This decision is informed by the object type and pose, surrounding clutter, and the confidence score reported by the vision algorithm. We train this planner from human input on multiple randomized virtual scenes. The planner is capable of moving other objects out of the way when necessary before retrieving the desired one. The gripper was designed for versatility. It can pick up an object by either grasping, scooping, or suction. An actuated spatula at each fingertip allows a robot to wedge its finger underneath an object to scoop it up. The spatulas can be retracted when they are not necessary, so they do not interfere with other actions. Suction cups in each fingertip allow the robot to pick up objects that are not easily grasped. The suction cups are sensorized, allowing the robot to determine if and when the suction cups are in contact with the target object. The cups can passively rotate, allowing them to engage with surfaces in a variety of orientations. The camera used by the vision system is also integrated into the gripper. The picking behaviors are the core of the system. They encode all manipulation operations the system is capable of performing, and they connect the low-level control of the robot, gripper, and sensors with the high-level planning. Each motion primitive consists of a parameterized sequence of collision-free motions and guarded moves. Our main primitive types are grasping, suction, and scooping. Here, we see the robot performing different types of grasps. The different types of grasping primitives are differentiated by whether the object is meant to be picked vertically or horizontally, and whether or not the target object is flush against a wall or other objects.
The robot also has several suction primitives, which are differentiated by the face of the object that is meant to be suctioned and whether the pick is vertical in the tote or horizontal in the shelf. Here, the robot can be seen scooping up an object. The view on the left is from the perspective of the gripper-mounted camera. The utility of the actuated spatulas is showcased as they can be lowered to wedge underneath an object and then raised to lift the object into a more stable grasp. At the competition, our system won third place in the stowing task and fourth place in the picking task. Thank you for watching.